What is the one thing you wish you knew how to do? Close your eyes and let your mind find the answer. I guarantee you already have something in mind. Why? Because all of us were sold on the idea that we had to choose a path and stick to it, or rather make serious decisions about a path in life at an early age, and then we realize there are other interesting things out there, maybe even more attractive than the path we chose. So you have an idea in mind, a subject or skill, that's perfect, Beckow. Say now I plan to be the guidance counselor you never had and tell you the truth. It's never too late. You're capable of far more than you'd believe. Becoming a lifelong learner is one of the great unlocks of life. Refuse to be defined by your college degree or a specific talent. It's time to realize that there's a huge world out there and you've only scratched the surface, there are many reasons you should adopt this mentality. Before we discuss how to kick your brain into higher gear, let's identify. Why point 1. Professional goals the easiest one to connect to a tangible benefit. Nearly every skill you have learned in school will become outdated. Lifelong learning is essential to stay sharp in your career field. Point 2. Leadership opportunities Some of the best leaders are those who understand a variety of skills, when you can appreciate and speak to a broad set of topics, you can relate to far more people. Point 3. Health. Taking care of your mental health is as important as taking care of your physical health. H. Continued education will strengthen the health of your brain, fighting off the onset of dementia and Alzheimer's. Point 4. Satisfaction. One of the great joys in life is deciding to learn something new and achieving the goal. In the end, you've taken full control of the person you've become. Now, you're sitting there thinking, yeah, I have always wanted to learn how to draw dog portraits in charcoal. I am going to do it. I applaud your enthusiasm. Now let's talk about action point one. Reframe your goal lifelong Lee. RNING is an opportunity to enrich your life. It can be your secret, your North Star nobody can take it away. Point two. Find your learning style. Determine your preferred way to take in new information. Think about the last time someone shared or taught you something and it really stuck. Identify how they communicated that information. That's your learning style. Point three. Identify your interests, choose something that you love and want to know more about. It can be something you plan to monetize or simply something. G that enriches your life. Point four, growth mindset. Your brain is far more malleable than you can believe. Research on brain plasticity shows that connectivity between neurons can change with experience. You can learn far more than you've been led on. It all comes down to wanting to do and be more. Life is a learning experience. There is no way around it. What better way to live than by taking an active part in that? Let's recap the benefits. 1. You'll grow your professional skill set. Point 2. Leadership opportunity. S will be created. Point 3. It benefits your health. Point 4. You will feel so very satisfied. Let's recap your Toto list. 1. Reframe learning as an opportunity. Point 2. Find your preferred learning style. Point 3. Identify your interest. Point 4. Adopt a growth mindset. So what is the one thing you wish you knew? Take that first step. Embrace the power of lifelong learning and watch as your potential expands beyond what you ever imagined possible. Subscribe like and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest feed. OS. Leave a comment below on the action you're going to take after watching this video. And if you found this video valuable, consider giving a tip proportional to the value you received. The link can be found in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel where we delve deep into the realms of personal growth, mental freedom, and self-empowerment. Today we're going to explore a topic that has plagued humanity since the days of ancient philosophers' mental enslavement. The great Stoic philosopher Seneca once wrote, Show me a man who is not a slave, and I will show you a free man. It may seem ironic that despite being conquerors, politicians, CEOs, and bosses, these individuals fail to rule their own minds. They too are slaves to their own fears, ambitions, lusts, and greed, but the Stoic philosophers, the likes of Marcus Aurelius Diogenes, Heraclitus and Socrates, knew something others failed to grasp. They understood the importance of taking control of their own minds, of escaping the turbulence of their emotions, and embracing personal responsibility. You see, we often find ourselves blaming external factors for our state of mind, our job, our wealth, or the lack thereof. We blame our UPB, ringing our circumstances, and the privileges we perceive others to have. But let me ask you this, does privilege and wealth truly grant you mental freedom? Take a look at Hollywood, the epitome of wealth, fame, and privilege, yet behind the glimmering facade we find stories of dysfunctional behavior, meltdowns, and a constant struggle to maintain one's sanity. Money and fame cannot buy you mental freedom, they cannot shield you from your own internal battles. Life, my friend, is a series of setba, CKS and events beyond our control. We face the loss of loved ones, financial ruin at the hands of others, rejection, heartbreak, 
and the crushing feeling of failure, and through it all, we craft our own unique identity, the story of who we are now hears the truth fate moves on, much like a linear movie, and you have a choice, you can be an actor, allowing others to have power over your own happiness and freedom, or you can be the director of your life, embracing personal responsibility and tacky, in charge of your choices, to believe that others and external circumstances control how we think, feel and act, is to subject ourselves to mental enslavement. It keeps us trapped in our victimhood, taking pleasure in our own self-pity and justifying our lack of progress. But the world owes us nothing, my friend. No, there is no knight in shining armor coming to save us from our mindset of victimhood. We must free ourselves from this mental prison by embracing personal responsibility for our own sea. Hoises. Only then can we truly break free from the chains that bind us, when we take ownership of our lives, when we understand that our decisions shape our reality, we open the door to a world of possibilities, where we work, what we buy, what we read, the people we surround ourselves with, and our attitude towards life are all choices that only we can make. Life, my friend, is meant to be lived and enjoyed. It's too short to take every decision so seriously. Embrace the power of laughter, even at your own expense. He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at so, let us start this journey towards mental freedom and personal responsibility. Let us cast aside our victimhood and embrace the hope and possibilities that lie within our choices, and as we embark on this path, let us remember the wise words of Marcus Aurelius, make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. Before we part ways, I have a question for you my friend, what actions will yo you take after watching this video? How will you incorporate the philosophy of personal responsibility into your own life? I encourage you to leave your answers in the comments below. If you found this video valuable and would like to support our channel, please consider giving a tip proportional to the value you received. The link can be found in the video description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated wi th our latest videos thank you for watching and remember the key to mental freedom lies within you hey there it's sunday night and you find yourself lying in bed staring at the ceiling in the darkness you glance at the digital clock on your bedside table it reads 239 a.m thoughts start racing through your mind errands you have to run project deadlines looming over you you close your eyes hoping to drift off to sleep but it feels like an eternity, and when you open your eyes again, the numbers on the clock have only changed by a minute, it's now 2.40 a.m., you let out a sigh, knowing it's going to be a long night. Back in 1959, a popular radio disc jockey named Peter Tripp decided to do something extraordinary for charity. He embarked on a wake-a-thon, attempting to stay awake for a whopping 200 hours. Scientists were present, monitoring his health and providing assistance, Tripp initially performed energetically entertaining his listeners from a glass booth in Times Square. But as the days went on, his mental and emotional state began to deteriorate, he experienced hallucinations, and even snapped at those around him. Tripp's experiment took a toll on his well-being, both physically and mentally research conducted by Dr. Mike Nettergaard reveals the importance of sleep in maintaining brain health. During sleep, the brain clears itself of harmful toxins that accumulate throughout the day. Lack of sleep can lead to an increase in beta amyloid, a sticky plaque associated with Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, insomnia affects a significant portion of the population. Around 30 to 40 percent of people experience symptoms of insomnia in a given year, and about 10 to 15 percent suffer from chronic insomnia. The University of Pennsylvania conducted an experiment to study the effects of sleep deprivation on different groups of people. One group slept for four hours a night another for six hours, and the third for a full eight hours. The groups underwent psychomotor tasks every two hours to measure their alertness. The results were clear the four and six hour sleep group s performed poorly as the days progressed, with the six hour group eventually performing as if they had been deprived of sleep for 24 hours straight. The most alarming part was that many individuals in these groups believed they had adapted to the new schedule and that their slight sleepiness wasn't affecting their performance, so, how can we ensure we get enough rest to perform at our best during the day? While medications can be an option, there are strategies you can try for a good night's sleep. Let's explore a few of them. Point 1. Practice relaxation techniques. Muscle relaxation and deep breathing can help calm your body and mind before sleep. Gradually tense and relax different muscle groups, and focus on your breath as you inhale and exhale deeply. Point 2. 
Listen to calming music. Classical music has been shown to improve sleep quality. Give it a try and see if it helps you relax and fall asleep. Binaural beats, which create an illusion of a third tone when listened to with headphones, have also gained popularity. While the scientific evidence is mixed, if it works for you, go for it. 3. Jot down your thoughts if your mind is filled with thoughts and worries, keep a pen and paper near your bed. Write down whatever is on your mind, whether it's reminders, anxieties, or positive thoughts. Emptying your mind onto paper can help clear your head and prepare you for a restful sleep. Point 4. Read a book reading before bed can be a calming and low-key activity. It's a way to unwind and learn something nay. W. Minus the stimulating effects of electronic devices. Opt for a paper book if possible as it provides higher memory retention and avoids the interference of light emitted by screens, insomnia can be a recurring issue, influenced by stress and life events. Taking steps to improve your sleep health is essential. Setting yourself up with one or more of these strategies on a regular basis can make a significant difference in your well-being. Remember, a good night's sleep is crucial for optimal perfa, armance, and overall quality of life. So, which strategy will you try? Take charge of your sleep health and experience the benefits of a well-rested mind and body. And hey, if you found this video valuable, consider supporting our channel. You can give a tip proportional to the value you received. The link can be found in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Now here's the question for you what action S from this video will you implement in your life? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and sleep well.